She found at her local thrift. She paid $6 for it. Sold it for approximately $900, including shipping. She said, I made about $600 after shipping. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. This is from the Share Your Best January Bolo in my Facebook group. So members of the Facebook group basically shared their bolos, and then I put them in video format for you. Um, some of the people are members of my YouTube channel and they are going to get a shout out where I pop up a screenshot of either their eBay store or their YouTube channel. And I also link them in the description. So make sure you go down to the description and subscribe to these channels. Check out their uh, eBay stores and their YouTube channels. They are fantastic bolo finders. This first one comes from YouTube channel She Picker. And... Um, she said, I purchased this for $30 from Donatella Bottolino, which is also a YouTube channel. And this is her YouTube channel. And Donatella Bottolino sells to resellers. Um, so if you're looking for inventory and you want to source from the comfort of your home, definitely check her out. She'll be linked down below. She said, got it for $30, sold it for a best offer of $127. My eBay store is two sister pickers. Instagram is she underscore picker and I'm starting a YouTube unboxing videos soon and her YouTube channel is she picker. All right. So this is a Italian sculptor Glipsy Armani. It's a boy playing a trumpet and this is what it looks like. This one comes from Nina's Jewels, and this is her YouTube channel. Definitely go check her out. And you guys, if you haven't seen her Ben's Bingo video, oh my goodness, it's awesome. Check that out. She said, we got this gorgeous vintage sequined silk gown at a hoarder estate. There were thousands of designer clothes there. It was overwhelming. We got what we could, but it was a hot day in Texas, and the house had no AC. We paid only $5 for this piece and took a best offer of $75. It sold in just a couple months. And it is a Scala women's um, chiffon full-length, I don't know, dress. It's this dress right here. This one says, um, purchased at a local Humane Society thrift for $5. Buyer accepted offer of $87.75. I looked up comps in the store. They had the entire collector series and I saw they were selling for 40 each. However, I had a hunch that they were worth more. I chose three of these to resell. The one that was selling for the highest, the one that was selling for the highest, one that wasn't currently listed and grabbed a third based off popularity of the in inventor. I got home and looked them up on WorthPoint. Previous sold comps were coming in almost double than what they are currently selling for, so did what Courtney teaches us to do and priced it high. I had no problem letting them sit to get to the market value back up. Two have sold within two weeks of listing. Okay, again, this is why WorthPoint is so important um, because if you look at eBay solds, you're gonna underprice your item. If you look at comps on WorthPoint and they're much higher, even if they're older listings, it just tells you that people have brought the market down, maybe because they didn't have WorthPoint and they didn't know what to price the item at. So yes, you can price that item high and still sell it quickly based on the comps on WorthPoint. So I do have a referral link for WorthPoint down below. It is pricey, it's not for everyone. Check out my videos before you purchase it, you know, to see how I use it to make it worth it. Um, just put Bolo Buddies Worth Point into the YouTube search. I've got multiple videos on how it's helped me in my business. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. Don't waste your money. If it doesn't, if it doesn't seem like a good fit, don't do it. I waited many years before I got Worth Point and, you know, now I wish I would have got it sooner, but that's beside the point. She said, but the greatest part about this sale was the sweet message I received from the buyer. A 51-year female pilot who will be receiving the Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award this year. 
Can you even imagine a female in the aviation industry 51 years ago? What an honor it was to add to her collection. And it is a um, uh, Wright Brothers pewter statue inventor's aviation airplane. And this one comes from the merchant the merchant's shop she is also um this is her ebay store she has also got a youtube channel that looks like this and i will link them do both down below she is a bolo buddies member oh my goodness i'm so sorry i cannot talk here's her next sale and she said buyer paid full asking price double what previous current solds go for and this is another pewter figure and this one looks like that it's the printing press and she also showed the recent eBay solds and hers is the top one. Highest sold comp on worth point in the past 10 years. So she showed that. Okay, here's her next one. Paid 75 cents each for three lotus glass and brass shades at my local Habitat for Humanity store. These are still trending in design, but I had no clue how profitable they were until I looked them up. All three sold within a month of listing for a total of 138 plus shipping. Some sold while on sale, some sold on best offer. Definitely keep your eyes out for these and they're even more valuable if they have the pedal base. I feel like I had these or my mom had these or my grandma had these. Somebody had these. I feel like I, it was me, I feel like. But I don't know where I got it. Somebody would have given it to me. But anyway. All right, so the lotus flower. I found this rare 2019 Build-A-Bear Psych Duck Pokemon plush at the Goodwill for $5.49. More than I normally like to play, pay, but comps looked great. So I took a chance and took it took four months to sell. Full price, $80. That is awesome. It's a Build-A-Bear Pokemon. Sold on Mercari. Where Pigs Fly Farm. This is her YouTube channel. She is awesome. They have a nonprofit animal farm. So check out their eBay store down below. All the proceeds go to uh, the farm. Not many big sales this month. Lots of little stuff. I did get this portfolio with a gold necklace hidden inside at the Goodwill Benz. Cost about $3. Had it listed for $90. Took a best offer of $70. I kept the gold chain. It's a vintage Wilson's leather Pell Italian Leather Brown Pebble Portfolio Organizer. This is what it looks like. Yes, you can definitely find things hiding in things. Sometimes you find them while you're there. Sometimes you find them when you get home. Definitely check stuff, okay? Check the pockets. Check everything before you list it. This one comes from Zeth Eclectics eBay store. She is a Bolo Buddies member. She found at her local thrift. She paid $6 for it. Sold it for approximately $900, including shipping. She said, I made about $600 after shipping. It's an MCM Cat Jean Pelham Original Noise Siamese Huge Signed Oil Lithography. Lithography? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> $750 plus shipping. Wow, she is doing so good. I don't think she's been on eBay that long. She's only got 242 feedback and she has found a lot of big money bolos. Definitely check her store out down below. Here's another one. She got it at shopgoodwill.com. Wow, she paid $127 for it. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry. She paid $127 for a large craft lot because of this item. Full asking $325. It was an international sale. From the lot, I'm keeping a few things and I have a few more to list. It's a serviced Fraser Bliss portable strip slitter cutter rug making effortless fabric. That is incredible. And then this is the, the lot that she bought. She And she paid $127 for all that. That's awesome, right? Here is another one from her. Local thrift store, $9, sold for Full asking price of $160 overnight. Check these boots out. Red Wing, 8-inch boots, men, size 9, black, waterproof, king toe, safety work, Red Wings. And that is Zeph Eclectics. This one comes from Vintage Booth Pro. And this is her YouTube channel. And she talks about having a booth and how she does her booth. But she also sells on platforms. 
I found these at Value Village for $6.99. I took a best offer of $115 just within an hour of listing. Wow. These are so cute. They're Holt Howard Cat Bud Vase. Vintage. I would have auctioned those babies off. Holt Howard is so collectible. They're from 1958. Those are awesome. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Ray Nathan RZ09. Right here is her eBay store. Bought this at a thrift store for $10.99. Paid up. That's high for me. Had a missing zipper pull. Paint loss on zipper pull. Imperfections. Last sold on Mercari for $30. I put it up high on eBay because there are none left on the internet. Spray ground sells no matter what condition. Sold a different one in worse condition for the same price about a year ago. Better condition ones can sell higher. Bought it for $10.99 at the thrift store and sold it for $69.99. And it is a Spray Ground Compton Bears LA with Chains Backpack. She also sold this Jim Shore Snow Days Tribute Snowman figure. Bought it for $3.99 at the thrift store and sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. Jim Shore always sells, yes. Je uh, sold another snowman with a basketball in December for $25, free shipping. I pick them up and they always sell. I agree, Jim Shore is a great brand to pick up. Some of them can go for big bucks, big money. Big money. Was at a thrift store and saw the, t uh, the two signs wrapped up together in saran wrap for $3.99. Didn't know it worked, but I know blow mold sell. Found out from a person that looked at it that originally comes with a third sign. Both signs light up. One plays Christmas songs. The signs are 16 inches and 19 inches long. Originally listed at $159.99. But down to $139.99, took an offer of $111. This has been up for over a year. Bought for $3.99 at the thrift store, sold for $111 plus shipping. And that was on Mercari. Bolo paid $0.98 cents at the Salvation Army on Monday. And it sold for $50 bucks plus shipping today. 1984 Crib Comforter and it's Minnie and Mickey Babies. This one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds, and that is her eBay store. She said she bought it at her local thrift store for $8, and it is a vintage nativity hand-carved wood set 12-piece, and it she sold it for $85. I recently sold a wood nativity. They can do well. Okay, this one's from Flippin' Hot Finds as well. Purchased an auction lot of this limited edition lithograph from T Auctions for You. And I will link Auctions for You down below. She is a YouTube channel that sells to resellers. So if you want to shop at home, check her out. She's linked below. One easy listing, quantity 13. She paid $10 each. Sold three and they were all gifts to a sister. I sold two on eBay and one on local Facebook Marketplace, 75, 62, and 85. That is awesome. Right there, 13 of them, 10 bucks each, 130 bucks. She's gonna make a ton of money on that. eBay store, Flippin' Hot Finds again, sold internationally to England. Bought this in a jewelry auction mystery event on T Auctions for You. Paid $75, got six pieces, $12.50 each of jewelry, and a T-Bucks money pole. Um, so she got this from auctions for you also. It's a sterling silver 925 ornate red jade unisex ring. Sold it for $89.99 plus shipping. I spent $1.98 on this. Nib, nib. It's lowercase, so I said nib. New in box. NIB, Spode Christmas Ornament. Took a best offer of 75 plus shipping, and this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. It's like 1 a.m. I need to go to bed. Red Bird Nesting. Bought these at the bins for $1.29 a year ago. I listed them, finally, in the fall, and they sold in January for $34.99. I had two sets, one sold January 11th and one sold on January 7th, also for $34.99, both paid shipping on eBay. Jeannie Marie um, is the eBay name. She said, I was only able to put one picture in. 
I don't know what that means, but oh, probably, oh yeah, you can only do one picture on Facebook. You have to go in and comment. So if you wanna do an additional picture, you hit comment or reply to the picture above and you can put another picture. But it's Caswell M Macy Saddlewood Soap. When I was blogging, I bought a lot of dishes I don't need anymore. These sold really fast. This brand is definitely a bolo. Vintage and discontinued pattern. And Courtney, I don't know how to pronounce it either. <laughs> Set of Bordalo, Pinheiro, Pink Cabbage 9-inch Luncheon Salad Plates. Ex excellent. Sold for $205. i am glad I'm not the only one. Purchased a very large lot of stickers and other items from a lady on Facebook for $150 and sold just this one package for $74.95. It's going to Canada. Vintage 80s Hallmark Razzle Dazzle stickers, glitter Christmas lights, new old sock sealed. Awesome. I love selling stickers. This one comes from Double T's Treasures. Paid $2.99 at America's Thrift Store. Sold for full price, less than 30 days. It is new vintage Jean Nate perfumed bath body powder with six ounce sealed puff, $57.97. Right there. This is also from Double T's Treasures. Paid 40 at an estate sale. Took almost a year to sell. Cost me 17 to ship. There's that word again. Vintage Lee Creuset. I don't know if I said it right. Number 25, white enamel cast iron Dutch oven pot, oval with lid, $199.97 on that one. This one also comes from Double T's Treasures. Paid maybe $5 at an estate sale. Took a best offer of $120, I'm sorry, no. Took a best offer of $215. Had it listed for around a year. Loop collar is one of the things that makes this more desirable. So she's got loop collar flap pockets, all of that in the title, but it is a Pendleton wool board shirt from the 1960s, 215 bucks. Found this vintage My Little Pony at the Goodwill Benz. Cost was about a dollar nine, or I'm sorry, costs are a dollar 19 per pound. Wow, that's cheap. Mine is a dollar 89 a pound. So maybe 50 cents, listed for 174.9. Listed at $174.99 and ran my 15% off sale Sold in three days for $148.74 with free shipping. How much is your Goodwill Bins? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like Goodwill Bins videos, definitely check out my Goodwill Bins videos. I do keep them educational and pop up screenshots of how I listed everything that I bought. And if anything has sold by the time I show the video, I share that with you as well. This in, this in, this one comes from Grin and Grandma. This is her YouTube channel, and she is a hoot. Hey, Courtney, no great big honking bolos at this time, but I did have some decent sales. Honking. The first is this little perfume decanter. This picture doesn't show the true blueness of it. Anyway, it's about four inches tall, and the artist signed. Sold for 40 plus shipping after I bought it, and a red one several years ago at an auction. Confession, I had actually sold them both previously, but had to cancel because I couldn't find them. Oh, bought them in a box lot and probably paid less than $5 for the box. This is what it looks like. Hate it when you can't find an item. This one is hers also. This was another estate sale find that we picked up for under $10. It's a mahogany balinese bust, pronounced like galanese, balinese. See, she's helping me out. <laughs> Uh, but with a B. That sold for the asking price plus shipping. Indigenous with a soft G. Indigenous. Did I say it right? I don't know. Thank you for your help. Sherry, you're so sweet. Okay. Uh, this one right here. Bought this decanter at an estate sale on 50% off day and paid under $5. I generally do the paper inside the bottle trick, but because of the shape, it didn't work with this one. Trust me, it's gorgeous. Anyway, sold it after a few short weeks for a best offer of $55 plus shipping. All right, this one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. This is her YouTube channel. She is a bolo finder. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Took a best offer of 350 
all in 370 with shipping to Florida from Washington. Paid $5 at an estate sale. It is a vintage 1950s black steer hide leather motorcycle jacket biker size 42. Wow. This next one, $159.92 all in, got this adorable picture for free at an estate sale. I had this listed for four months in tons of watchers, lots of lowball offers. Stand your ground on the vintage items. I think what she's saying is that hers sold higher than everyone else's because she priced it high and waited on the right buyer. Noelle and I both do that. Vintage 60s, 70s, funky boho, flower power, cruel cat floral framed wall art. So it's a finished like kit that somebody made and framed. Took a best offer of $50. This is Noelle also. And she is also a moderator of the Facebook group. So give her a thank you when you go watch her video. Say thank you for helping mod the Bolo Buddies Facebook group because for real. Uh, took a best offer of $50 a plate and sold four to the same person. 200 plus shipping. I bought the whole set at an estate sale for 40-ish. I have about a dollar into each item. These are very scarce. Also got amazing feedback from the buyer. Do not be afraid to purchase China. It can be very lucrative. Just do your due, due diligence and look it up. Royal Danaby Calico Porcelain 8 and 4th inch dessert plate. Blue roses, gold rim. This is what it looks like. Okay, Courtney, I know I already put in my three bolos, but I wanted to share this. I bought the, I bought the brothers, I bought the brother BES box, brother Bess, I don't know what this is, for $5 at an estate sale, and it had three total software sets in it. I have sold two of them already, the Bess for $149.99, I guess that's what this looks like, and the other for $145.82. All in and still have one to go. That is close to the same amount. Please note, older software is worth tons of money. And this software is specific to Brother Embroidery Sewing Machines. Please don't overlook these kinds of items. Noelle has so much information like this on her channel. Definitely subscribe to her if you are not already. This one comes from the Gateway Picker. He is now also a moderator of the Bolo Buddies Facebook group and he is helping me like crazy. So if you guys are seeing your posts getting approved quicker, it's because um, he is helping me do that. So please go over to his YouTube channel and tell him thank you. Also check out his eBay store that will be linked down below. A piece of a small collection purchased at a local yard sale, $10 into 125. It is a Department 56 Trick or Treat Drive Halloween with box, no tree or pumpkin, and this is what it looks like. Part of a collection purchased at a yard sale, $5 into 45. Yeah, these fish are awesome. Uh, MCM Miller Studios Chalkware Fish Bubbles Starfish Wall Hanging from the 60s. Awesome, I love those. Yard sale pickup, 15 and to 132. It is a Strolls Beer Lighted Bar Nautical Port Whole Ocean Diver Ship Wheel Plastic Sign. That is incredible. This one comes from Flippin' It Good, and this is his eBay, I'm sorry, his YouTube channel, Flippin' It Good. I found these at a thrift store. I paid 20 and took a best offer of $200 plus shipping. They were not in the best shape and had some flaws. Now, Flippin' It Good is, he is retail arbitrage. Mostly, I would say that's the majority of what he sells. If you guys want to learn about retail arbitrage, oh my goodness, check him out. He goes into like Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx, like all those discount stores and finds amazing items and sells them for hundreds of dollars. But these came from a thrift store. They are Nike Men's Blackout Kobe Mamba basketball shoes, 200 bucks. And he knows, he does a lot of clothes and shoes. He also, um, what did he buy? He bought out um, a Lost Cargo. So he has a, some videos on that too. I found this at a yard sale for $5. I took an offer of 342 plus shipping, a yard sale, five bucks. It took some time to sell, but worth the wait. 
I am so sorry, but he did not, it's a Poshmark and you can't see the title. So I don't know what brand it is, but this is what it looks like. I found this camera at a yard sale. I paid 25 and it sold for 250. It is a Rolaflex Frank and Hedick vintage camera with the hard case. 25 into 250. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, you guys, that concludes this video. There were a bunch in this one. This video went a little long. Um, I think there were about 40. So let me know which one was your favorite. Um, leave me an emoji of a hat and tell me how you found out about the channel. If it was from another YouTuber, if it was from my Facebook group, um, if it popped up in your feed, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. And it is a vintage native, I'm sorry, nativity hand painted. Oh my goodness, let's start over. I believe this was the a huge sold price for similar, what? I believe this was a hugest sold price for similar items. I don't know what that means.